welcome guys today's tutorial on how to turn the down part of your lace without it affecting your edges the lace edges yeah so this is the one i've done can you see i'm just trying to show you how it is all the sides same yeah you can see the way i turn with lining and the satin and it's not affecting the edges yeah it's very neat on the inside it is neat and beautiful that way you will not have any issues most people find this very difficult on how to turn their lace with lining and satin yeah so that is what we will learn how to make today if this tutorial is what interests you and what you will learn how to make i will urge you to stay till the end of this tutorial yeah you can see how everything is neat on the inside it's so beautiful and neat yeah kindly stay to the end and subscribe to my channel guys now this is my this is my lace after gumming it guys i gum it with emmy gum you can use your sewing machine to sew this brighter satin with it but for me the fastest route is using my hemi gum to gum it now after gumming it guys this is what i have this is the down part of the lace you can see we have i have like two inches uh, edge here before the brighter satin most times when you are cutting something like this you don't cut exact length because when you cut exact length it's going to cover the beauty of the lace so most times you leave like they depend on how wide the edge is there are some edges that are up to four inches there are some that are like three inches and so on so that is how you would cut your you know the length of your brother's satin and your lining do not have to be the same length with your lace now that we've i have gum it guys i'm going to be marking two inches from here from this point from this end here guys I'll go up by two inches then I will just mark the line like this I'm going to do the same thing for the other side I'm going to open it like this and open to where two inches is if you are to sew it if you like sewing your satin to your lace when you are sewing you will stop at this two inches I will do the same thing for the back i will also open i will also lose from here to two inches now you can notice that i have put my seam allowance when you cut your skirt if you are doing this process you will have to input your seam allowance on both the front and the back now this is the back i am also going to mark two inches here I'm also going to indicate two inches here. This is the zip side. Then the side also, I am also going to mark two inches. This is one of the back and this is the second back. So I am doing the same thing also. Now this is the lining for, for the lace. You know this is the lace i got me to the brother satin now this is the lining join the upper part to the lining and the material piece by piece now this is it after joining the lining to the upper part of the of the gown yeah so you remember i told you you have to put all your side seam now this is stuffed two inches the mark initially yes so now we'll be going to the machine to sew it guys so guys when you sew your side seam together when you get to that two inches just watch the way i do just watch the way i am sewing it make sure all the down parts align together so when you sew and you get to these two inches you're going to backstitch 
then you pick the satin you're going to pick the satin yeah and you flip the lace inside can you see what i did then you now continue sewing with the same allowance that you mark yes yeah, so you sew with the same allowance that you mark that is how to sew it then after sewing that guys you, you can see the lace that you flip inside you are going to turn it like that then you will now sew it again with the exact same allowance that you have there if there's one inch seam allowance you mark rather than that that is what you'll be sewing it with and when you are sewing you would want to tighten it up back stitch and tighten it up then when you now get to that part that you sew the better satin you are going to stop when you get to that part you will know because you cannot move beyond that part so guys now look at the way it is inside can you see it and we have that allowance that allowance is what we'll be turning our lining with so i'm going to do the same thing for the second side seam just watch i'm just sewing with all the allowance that i marked and i just i'm repeating this process for you guys to understand what i mean so you can see that when i get to that down part i stops then you still mark your two inches uh, then you pick your lace pick the satin together you flip your lace inside flip it inside and you continue sewing with the same allowance can see the way it is after sewing it's very easy okay now the next thing we'll be doing is to sew our we are going to sew the back remember we only sewed the two sides here now for the zip allowance you are still going to repeat the same thing you'll be sewing it after that guys we will be sewing the lining together now so that is me sewing the lining the lining you are going to sew it all the way to the down parts i'm sewing the second side of the lining yeah so after sewing the lining you guys everything is sewed because you will sew the zip side and you also sew the lining zip side they close it together so on how to turn this lining with the satin you are going to bring it out from your ample side for those of you doing inseam finishing that is inner sewing you're going to bring it out from your ample that way when you bring it out you can now turn it with the lining and also bring it out back then if you are sewing a skirt you are going to do this whole process before you join the band at the waist side so that is how to sew your satin and your lining to your lace without it affecting the edges so guys i'm just trying to show you what to do when you flip it from the inside thank you guys for watching i'll see you in my next video